Hi, and welcome to the secondary entrance problem posting exercise number one. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the solution to the first problem that was posted to all the primary schools. Javed has three bags of candies. The number of candies in bag one is two-fifths of that in bag two. The number of candies in bag three is a half of that in bag one. If the number of candies in bag two is 72 more than the number of candies in bag three, find the number of candies Javed had in all three bags. Now, the problem looks very difficult as it is. But if we were to dissect the problem and use a simpler method, maybe a method that is a hybrid between bar modeling and box method, the problem may not look so difficult after all. To juggle your memory about the use of box method, please look at the video in the description below. Now back to the problem. The first thing we can do is multiply the denominators of both fractions. This would be 2 times 5, which is 10. This would give us the number of subdivision each model should have so that we can reduce the dependency on using excessive fractions to evaluate the problem. So that these bars that are subdivided into 10 units would represent the models. Okay, if you look carefully, you would see that references is made to bag two. Every representation is dependent on bag two. So that if bag two is represented by this model with 10 green subdivisions, we can easily see two fifths of this because two fifths of 10 would give me this, that is, four tenths so that bag one would represent two fifths of bag two they went on to say that bag three is a half of bag one a half of four happens to be two so that this represented here is bag three so that you can see two of the boxes in bag three are shaded now, they added further that bag 2 has 72 more candies than bag 3. This means that this represents the 72 candies. Looking carefully, you will see that this consists of 8 subdivisions. So that we can say 8 of the boxes of the subdivision is equivalent to 72. We can therefore find one of the box. One of the box is equivalent to 72 divided by 8, which is 9 candies. What this says is that each of these boxes that are shaded represents 9 candies. So to get the total amount of candies that are represented here, we simply add all the shaded portions and multiply them by 9 because each portion represents 9 candies. So that we multiply 9 times 10 to give me the total amount of candies represented in back 2. Then we add that to 9 times 4 because this represents the total amount of candies in back 1. Then we add that to 9 times 2, which represents the total amount of candies in bag 3. This would give us a grand total of 90 plus 36 plus 18, which is 144. We can therefore conclude that the total number of candies Javed had in all three bags was 144. Every problem solver 
with review to ensure that the solution to his problem is accurate. Let us start with the assumption that Bag 2 has 90 candies. If Bag 2 had 90 candies, Bag 1 would have had two-fifths of the 90. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 90 divided by 5 would give me 18, and this would give me a total of 36. Now let us check bag 3. Bag 3 was stated as having a half the total amount in bag 1. That is a half times 36. This would give me 18. Now, when we look at the total amount in bag 1, 2, and 3, we would have 90 plus the 36 plus the 18, which is 144, the answer we had. Let us even look further. Recall that they said that bag 2 had 72 more than bag 3. If this is the case, we simply add bag 3, which is 18, to the 72, and we will get 90. This justifies that our answer is correct, because 90 represents the assumed amount of candies in bag 2, as was initially stated. Hence the video. A supplemental question is given for you to do. Please. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.